Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi and this is Yadi Angel Art. So today we're going to be opening and reviewing something called watercolor creams from the company Bria Reese. I've never tried anything from this company before and I honestly haven't really heard much of it before so I thought it would be a really fun thing to try out. From the outside of the package, it says that there are some directions and tips inside and we've got 12 what looks like crayons but that are water soluble. So it looks like it comes in its own little case which is really adorable. Oh and they each come with a lid. What? I wonder how much is in here then. Okay, so I can spin it for more to come out. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, and here are the tips and the instructions. Should I read them? I think for now, I'm gonna leave them and we're going to swatch these. So some quick first thoughts on this. So far, I am a little bit disappointed. Uh, some of the colors are okay as far as saturation goes and brightness, but some of the other colors are not so great. Like the, some of the purples, they don't really come out very well, but one thing I really, really don't like when it comes to water-soluble art supplies is when you get graininess that won't go away after you add the water. So I had that problem with pretty much every color except yellow, which actually turned out to be one of the brightest colors too. So props for yellow, I guess. <laughs> The blending of the colors wasn't so great. I tried to blend them by putting the crayon down first and then blending them with water and that didn't really come out too great. I think the colors are just not saturated enough so the blending isn't really super obvious. As far as layering between the colors go though, one thing that's kind of interesting is that they don't reactivate super easily. When I layered like a yellow on the already dry red, it didn't really reactivate the red and that can be both a good thing and a bad thing depending on how you like to use your watercolors. Basically these are like crayons that are water soluble. It's a pretty cool art supply but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Well, we're still early in this and I'm still looking forward to giving these a try, so let's actually paint something with them. So after swatching, I tried to do a few more experiments to try and see if I can figure out how to get these tools to work for me properly. I was honestly a little bit nervous to get started painting right away after having such a disappointing first impression of these watercolor creams. So with my experimenting, I figured out that for me, the best way to get them to work would be to paint with line art. I really couldn't get them to blend the way I would like to, so I think line art was the best way to go with them. I decided on a hibiscus flower because I like flowers. <laughs> I don't know, I really like seeing uh, flowers painted with watercolor. There's something really delicate about both subjects that I think just works really well and I've just been feeling flowers lately so that's what I went with. I also thought it would be a nice simple thing I could look up as a reference and just kind of relax and go with the flow with this. I was really trying to keep myself from getting too pressured to do this painting. I've been really stressed lately with work and other things and I really didn't want to struggle to show you guys something pretty with these tools. In the tips that came with this set, it actually mentioned to try taking the cream and rubbing it on a palette and then adding water to that and mixing it before putting it on the paper. And I found that that was the best way to get them to do exactly what I wanted. Once I did that, they started acting a little bit more like watercolor. 
Now the colors I mentioned before are kind of light. There really isn't a lot of saturation in these colors. I um, wasn't super fond of that, but what I just ended up doing was building up with more layers. And once I was able to do that, the colors did shine through a little bit better. It was really good at building up layers. I feel like specifically colors like red and yellow did really good at building up. And the green and the blue I kind of struggled with a little bit more. I couldn't get the chunks of the creams to completely dissolve. You can kind of see it in my palette throughout the painting. Uh, and sometimes those chunks of cream would stick to my brush and show up on the paper. I would just kind of get rid of those, but that was kind of annoying to deal with. Oh, one cool thing that I liked about this was that blending colors onto the palette was maybe a bit easier than with normal watercolors. Because with normal watercolors, what I would do is I would grab a brush and I would grab the one color, put it on the palette, and then clean that brush and bring it up and get it the other color and then bring that on the palette and mix it up. And if the color isn't right, I would have to do that a few times. But with this, uh, I mixed black with green a little bit and all I had to do was get the green cream and rub it on the palette and then get the black cream and rub it on the palette and that kind of skipped like the middleman of the brush with the colors so that was a little cool. So as you guys saw my first reaction to this was a little disappointed. I really wasn't sure how I was going to approach these uh, tools but I feel like once I got the hang of it it really worked out well and I actually had a bit of fun by the end of it. Now, as far as whether I would recommend this to someone, it kind of depends. If you're someone who's given watercolors a try and you already kind of like it and you want to try something new, then yes, this is something really cool to try out. It's a bit cheap. I spent maybe about 15 bucks on it from Target. You might be able to get it cheaper from somewhere else. And it's a fun little different type of tool to play around with in watercolors. Now, if you're somebody who's never given watercolors a try and you're trying to get started, I wouldn't recommend this as a starter set. It's a bit too different from what regular watercolors are and it might just be a bit much to deal with as a very first set. So this is the finished piece. Let me know what you guys think. This was a lot of fun to review and I hope this was helpful for some of you. Would you guys want to see a video where I recommend a bunch of affordable starter watercolor sets? I could show you how they are and all that. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. If you had fun with me today, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!